A few days ago, I subscribed to ChatGPT+, but I think I'll cancel my subscription soon. The main difference between the free and pay version of ChatGPT are the availability when the demand is high, the fast and responsive speed, and priority access. This means that with a paid version, we wouldn't get a annoying message too many requests in one hour. However, I didn't subscribe because of this. I almost never had trouble using ChatGPT, even when the demand was high. The main reason for me to upgrade to ChatGPT Plus was the speed. I heard that ChatGPT Plus had a turbo mode that is way faster than the free version of ChatGPT, and that's true. However, it wasn't as fast as I expected, at least not worth it $20 a month. In this video, I'll test ChatGPT and ChatGPT Plus with prompts that generate 100, 1000, and more than 1000 words. Let's see if ChatGPT Plus is worth it for you. Okay, first I use both ChatGPT Plus and the free version of ChatGPT to generate a SQL query through the prompt below. This is a simple prompt that will generate less than 100 words, so the test will be fair for both. So ChatGPT Plus took around 7 seconds to do this, while the free version of ChatGPT needed 38 seconds. So ChatGPT Plus is 31 seconds faster. And I got the same result with another prompt that helped me automate sending emails with Python. So to make sure the previous test wasn't a coincidence, I tested both versions of ChatGPT with this prompt. And ChatGPT Plus did it in 14 seconds, while the free version of ChatGPT did it in 47 seconds. Again, this is around 30 seconds faster. This isn't bad, but I expected faster results for the paid version. This may seem insignificant when generating less than 100 words, but the speed is important when giving ChatGPT more complex requests. Let's have a look with the next test. Okay, for the next test, I'm gonna give ChatGPT a prompt to generate less than 1,000 words. And by the way, I extracted this prompt from my free cheat sheet where you can find more than 100 prompts that will help you unlock all the power of ChatGPT. I'm gonna tell both versions of ChatGPT to simulate a job interview for a software engineer position by asking and answering questions as if ChatGPT was the employer and I'm the candidate. All right, now let's see how many minutes it takes to both versions of ChatGPT to do this task. ChatGPT Plus generated 655 words in one minute and two seconds, while free ChatGPT generated 589 words in one minute and 53 seconds. Now we have a gap of 51 seconds. This looks good, but to be honest, I wouldn't pay $20 a month to wait one minute to generate 600 words. Actually, I already get that speed from OpenAI Playground. And yes, Playground is not exactly the same as ChatGPT, but for some of us, Playground's features will be enough. Besides, they give you an $18 credit, which should be more than enough for the three-month trial. This faster response speed ChatGPT Plus is supposed to have is not that fast when it comes to generating thousands of tokens. And we'll see this much better in my final test. Okay, in my final test, I use both versions of ChatGPT to generate Python code and HTML code for my website. The prompt is quite long, but it helped me build almost the whole website from scratch using this single prompt. And by the way, I have a tutorial on how to do this and you can check it in the description below. Okay, first I asked ChatGPT to generate only the Python code. It took ChatGPT plus 36 seconds while free ChatGPT did it in 1 minute and 51 seconds. But it also generated part of the HTML code. Anyway, I had to type complete on the free version of ChatGPT to generate the rest of the HTML code. And then ask ChatGPT plus to generate the HTML code. Considering both the Python and HTML code generated, it took ChatGPT Plus 1 minute and 16 seconds, while it took 2 minutes and 16 seconds for the free version of ChatGPT. So there you have it. I don't mind waiting 1 or 2 minutes to get my code generated, but I do mind paying $20 for this. I don't think it's worth it paying so much for only speed and it's only 30 seconds or 1 minute faster. I don't think it's gonna be worth it for you. But let me know in the comment section below if ChatGPT Plus is worth it for you and why.